heading north from the plains of Pakistan and into the foothills of the Hindu Kush mountains lies one of the country's most spectacular regions and one of its least known national parks. Chitral Gol National Park is so remote and so high that its summits seem to touch the heavens. The park is renowned for its dramatic landscapes, ancient trees, treacherously steep cliffs, and for extraordinary cliff walking animals like the Markor. As the chill of autumn sweeps down from the highest peaks, the Marco face their most challenging time of year. Marco are one of the largest wild goats in the world. Males stand over a meter tall at the shoulder and can weigh over 100 kilos. Their impressive corkscrew horns can be a meter and a half long. Females are much smaller, but this can be an advantage when the Marco move into the stands of holly oak, which provide them with a staple diet of acorns and leaves at this time of year. The lightly built females can climb right into the trees to reach the younger, more succulent leaves growing on the tips of the branches. Their split toes and the sensitive leathery soles on their feet give them excellent grip. The very same balance and agility that allows them to leap so effortlessly across sheer rock walls. The males are powerfully built and their balance is extraordinary too, but they're simply too heavy for the branches. Instead, they thrash their heavy horns about to try to dislodge the leaves and acorns. Once the food has fallen, size trumps agility. Since leaving the high altitude summer pastures, they'll have been spending nearly 12 hours each day looking for something to eat. They eat a lot of wild grasses and play an important role in dispersing grass seeds around the park. Females give birth to one or two kids and they stay with their mothers for at least a year. But these tiny families tend to huddle into small herds as much for safety as anything else. Young or inexperienced markhor are targeted by snow leopards, golden eagles, wolves and lynx. The older animals know their way round the landscape and the youngsters need to learn, not just escape routes, but where to find an essential ingredient that's missing from their diet. It's on the other side of this mountain stream. Fast flowing meltwater has cut through the rock, exposing banks of mineral salts. The Markor need to lick at the rock salt to make sure they get the supplements they need. It's vital they stay healthy for the difficult months ahead. In the first two weeks of December, the male Marco face their toughest time of the year. The males mostly live alone, but now they seek each other out.
tentatively, nervously, they will be sizing each other up. After days deciding who has the best chance of mating with the nearest females, battle commences. It's not just their size and power that counts. The terrain and their choice of standpoint can be make or break. The stakes are so high, the tension and clashes continue well past sundown. A clear winner will mate with up to 30 females. The loser faces an uncertain future. Whatever the outcome, Chitral Gull's population of Marko, nearly 1,500 of them, are critically important to the overall health of the park and this ecosystem. They are a central link in the food chain. Now that their numbers are increasing, the future of Chitral Gull seems that little bit more certain.